Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome once again to the Boss Report. What a brilliant sporting weekend we had. My congratulations and that of the Boss team to the 4x400 meter Trinidad and Tobago team. What an exciting game, what an exciting run, and what exciting games we had at the Queen's Park Oval where Trinidad went ahead to continue to top the table. All of, the, all of this pales in comparison, or our report today pales in comparison with the excitement of that four by 400 meters. But nevertheless, let's look what's happening in your investment world. Today, I'm going to speak about two particular stock that have reported um, at the end of June their results. Guardian Holdings for its six month report and NCB Financial Group that is the banking uh, grouping out of Jamaica. We report on them, of course, because they are listed, cross-listed on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. And I chose to put these two together, particularly because NCB Financial Group has a 29.99% of the shareholding of Guardian Holdings. And let's see how that puts together and works together and whether we can get any clues for investment and what to do going forward. So let's start by looking at the, NC, uh, the, the GHL um, results. And what you would see on your screen is that the company did well um, in the six month report, growing its earnings per share from 70 cents in the previous corresponding period to 83 cents um, at this um, half year end. A good result, um, when you look at the profit after tax, you see here what's happening. When you look at the breakdown of income, however, there are things that you would want to pay attention to. That is the net income from underwriting operations has fallen by about 18%, that red marker that you have there. And the net income from investment activities is actually growing and it's up 20%. It means that the investing activity is overtaken in terms of the returns that are being generated from that particular area. Well, let's look at the, some other aspects, such as, for example, the net income by segment, which I have spoken to already um, in terms of the, but more particularly in terms of health and pensions, um, in terms of property and casualty, you can see the spread and what is happening um, at the top with asset management. Essentially, we are seeing the continued um, generation of income from these two areas and not much really to report in terms of the changes that are taking place. Let's look now at one other graph with regard to Guardian and that is its geographical uh, distribution of revenues across the region, what has been happening. Well, as you can see, 57% of the income continues to come from Trinidad and Tobago of the revenue, as you see with this red line. And you would also see in terms of uh, the Dutch Caribbean being the second largest contributor. I think that might be a surprise for some. The Dutch Caribbean throwing up about 20%. 23, 25% and then 23% this year. And of course, uh, coming up um, next is Jamaica. Other regions just generating about 2%. Jamaica generating about 18% of the revenues of the company. When we look at all of these factors and taking all of these factors into consideration, we have a neutral rating for um, GHL. At the current price of $16.50, the stock is trading at 9.5 times PE, which is just slightly above the average of 8.9. Current dividend of 4.06 is above the sector average of 3.5%. So this tells you um, that it's a good stock to hold. It's also a stock where investors are asking, what's going to happen with NCBJ holding 29.99%? of Guardian. What's going to happen next with Guardian? NCBJ uh, Financial Group is expanding. Let's see what's going to happen with regard to that particular stock. And then we turn now to NCBJ itself. Let's see what's happening. 
stellar year in terms of performance at the nine year, nine month level. If you look, interest income has gone up just about 5%, um, but net fees and commissions up 30%. And then you have, very important, the share of profits of associates, which is this line here, 470% up. And that really reflects, in part, the contribution of their 29.99% holding of Guardian. So you see that big increase of $97 million uh, in terms of uh, the share of profit of associates, of which Guardian comprises that shareholding that we spoke about. Also included there is uh, NCBJ holding of JMMB, which is about 30%. So very good result. Um, in terms of being up 48% from the previous year. Um, income streams, as you can see, I think it's important to look at net income has not grown by that much, but the two areas where you have significant growth will be in terms of fee uh, income as well as the, the share of um, profits from associates. Let's then look now very quickly to see what's happening in terms of that share of associate um, profits of associate from the perspective of NCB Financial Group. And you'll see how significant it is, how much it has gone up uh, um, in 2017 versus 2016. What's our outlook for NCBJ? Well, when you look at the NCBJ story, you will find that it is trading um, at or near the multiple that exists in Jamaica. And the multiple that exists in Jamaica is actually about nine times. So the NCBJ group is trading at a trailing PE of 10.8 in line with other financial institutions in Jamaica, such as JMMB, um, SIJL, and the Scotia group. Um, in Trinidad, the current price is $4.20, trailing 9.6 times, and a dividend yield of 3.5% in line with the market average of 3.6 times. That's our report for today. Have yourself a wonderful investment week. Look for us and you can reach at, at us at any of these numbers here and any of these contacts here. Look for us in the newspapers where we share um, our mutual funds performance under the rubric of BOSS as well as Save Invest. Have yourself a wonderful investment week and enjoy that great feeling from that magnanimous, which is the word that Hema uses, that magnanimous performance by our 4x4 uh, relay team.